Hello and welcome to High School Football on WOSN. Alongside Darren Gilbert, I'm Evan Skilleter, and tonight it's a BBC matchup between the Macomb Panthers and the Pandora Gilboa Rockets. Darren, excited to be with you tonight. Macomb 4-0, number four in Division 7 in the entire state of Ohio. Pandora 2-2, two two, but still 1-0 in the BBC. Both these teams undefeated in the conference. Well, it's a stone's throw away from both school districts, and you know what they're going to bring, and it's going to be a hard-hitting action game, and it's going to come down, to my opinion, to front four, you know, on both sides of the football. Who can establish that? you know, pressure on the opposing quarterback as well as protect your own quarterback is going to play dividends, you know, on, on getting off to a good start. Comb will kick this one off to Pandora. It's Lane Lee and Aiden Morris back to return for the two and two Rockets. We are underway here. Nice high kick. It'll be returned from the 13-yard line. This is Lane Lee as Lee crosses the 20 and brought down to bring out the Pandora offense, a team that averages 23 points per game. They pass for 232 yards a game and run for 113, led by quarterback Corey Gurton. Trace Bryan on the stop along with his teammate Hayden Ebright. Gurton this season, 84 of 139, 60% completion rating. 232 yards per game, eight touchdowns, nine interceptions. But the story of this game is going to be how this front five for Pandora handles that tough yeah. front four of McComb. Yeah, they're, they're very physical and they're big and they can all move really well. Man goes in motion, that's Andrew Miller. They give it on the ground. That is 21, I believe, Ben Burkholder. Yes, it is. And Burkholder picks up a couple on first down. It'll be second and eight. Yeah, Meals on the stop coming up from that linebacker spot. Met him in the hole, dropped him right there on the spot. You look across that defensive front line. Bormuth, first team both ways last year. Owen DeWeese, first team offensively. Meals, a second team defender. We'll pitch this out to leading rusher Andrew Miller. Averages 99 yards per game. Picks up one right there on the carry. So a third down coming up. It'll be about six or seven yards for the Rockets to pick up. Yeah, guess who's on the stop there? Mr. All Leaguer on both sides of the ball. Bormuth, six foot four, 260 pounds. Had him earlier this year, Evan, against Allen East, and he just dominated the game on both sides of the ball. McComb, his teammates. McComb always a physical squad, tough up front. Third down six, here we go, man in motion, that's Morris. Girton rolls out to his left. Girton still looking, now throws to Morris. That one's intercepted. Picked off by Brad yep. Meals. Good call there, partner. Hey, jump the little out pattern there. Pick the football off. Wasn't for they getting him around the ankles. I think he was on his way to pay dirt. Your instant replay today sponsored by Sprunger Insurance. And now McComb with great field position. They'll go under center to start this game. Chase Woodruff. And they'll run it to the right. And not much there. Braxton Althauser on the carry. He is the leading carrier on this team. Averages 140 yards per game. Nine touchdowns to go along with it. That is the most yards per game in the BBC so far this season and the most touchdowns overall. Carson Meyer on the stop. And now a timeout taken by Pandora as they had some issues with personnel. Ben Burkholder started running toward that sideline and tried to run back in. He slipped. He was out of position. And the timeout called with 10-14 remaining in the first quarter. We'll take our first timeout as well. You're watching High School Football on WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard is sponsored by Webb Insurance Agency, serving Lima and Allen County for more than 100 years with offices in downtown Lima and Bluffton. Welcome back to Macomb High School. Doc Miller Field, the site of tonight's game. It's second and seven for Macomb after the Rocket timeout. They'll hand this one off to the left side. That's Wilson Grubb. Grubb still on his feet. 
as he powers his way toward a first down. He's going to be close as they take a look, and they do say first down for the Panthers. Big hole there by Logan McGill up front to center along with tackle Owen DeWeese opening that big hole up there for him to get that first down. Grubb, one of three players on this Macomb team with seven or more touchdowns. This time they run it to the right side with Althauser who picks up a couple. So Althauser, nine touchdowns, Brad Meals, seven touchdowns, and Wilson Grubb, seven touchdowns. It's an impressive number, especially considering we've only played four weeks of football. Well, pick your poison, you know, who you gonna defend? To Meyer, pick up. I'm sorry, Meyer on the stop along with uh, number 34, Andrew Miller. And this is Grubb up the middle, picks up a nice chunk. He's short of the first down, but a third and very manageable coming up. McComb averaging 360 yards on the ground per game. And they only passed for 81. So very clear what their game plan is. And like you said, tough to key on any one guy, any one play. Third and short, quick snap. They hand this one off left side. That's Meals. Meals has enough for the first near the goal line, down around the two-yard line. Gang tackled there by a host of Rockets, including Andrew Miller. Yeah, you can't script it up any better if you're the whole ball club. You get an early turnover, and then you're establishing your running game. Now they run to the right side, and a well, nice a job in the defensive play. backfield. Sure was. That was Andrew Miller getting back there for the tackle. Four losses, Grubb couldn't find any space. That young man is early in this football game is all over it defensively. Shooting the gaps, he's big, he's physical. Now Althauser left side, Althauser spins back to the right. He gets close and he is in. Touchdown Panthers, three and a half minutes into this game. Second effort got him a touchdown because he had to spin from left to right. They had him by the ankles and he extended the football over the plane. Found Pater. Althauser's 10th touchdown of the year and now they'll line up the PAT. Chase Woodruff will do the kicking. Braden yeah. Shoup will do the holding. Yeah, partner, he's 25 of 27 on extra points. Good snap, hold, kick. It is good. 7-0 McComb early on on the Web Insurance Agency scoreboard. We'll step aside and be back with more after this on WOSN. Tonight's instant replay sponsor is Sprunger Insurance with locations in Pandora and Bluffton. Go Rockets. Welcome back to Doc Miller Field. It's 7-0 early on for McComb after a four-yard touchdown run from Braxton Althauser. Now the Panthers will kick back to the Rockets. Aiden Morris and Lane Lee back to return. Woodruff sends this one deep, a little bit lower this time. Nice line drive grabbed by Lee. Lee looking for space, crosses the 20. Now the 25 gets up to the 27 or 28 yard line. And the Rockets will come back out after an interception on the last possession. Nice job on the return, brought down by Gonzalez. Jake Venato also on the stop for the Panthers. Now the Rockets, who didn't really get much going on offense last possession. We'll start with Ben Burkholder in the backfield, lined up behind Girton. Two receivers out to the left. Now they run it left side. A little bit of space for Burkholder. He gets up the field, and he gets the first down, crossing the 40 up to the 43-yard line. Nice quick hitter there for the Rockets. Sure was. Grub on the stop. Meals with the help on, on the tackle. Yeah, did you see who they pulled, didn't you? Mr. Miller. Miller will be all over the field. Oh, yeah. Line up at tight end at times, line up in the slot, line up at running back. Nice little luxury to have, huh? This time they go to the right side. Burkholder looking for somewhere to go, and a flag comes out. Yeah, I think they got a hold on the right tackle. There is a flag on the play. Flag laying at the 40-yard line. It was a pickup of about seven yards, but it's not going to matter as everyone walking back, waiting for the official signal 
from the referee. Yeah, the lineman did a really good job shedding that block there. That's where the hold came into play. Ball back to the 33 yard line. They'll redo first down, but this time 20 yards to gain. Miller in the backfield this time to Girton's right. Girton looking to pass. Looking left, throws, that's caught. Chase Meyer with the grab. Meyer makes a man miss. Gets up the field. He's pulled down by the helmet. Referee yeah, that doesn't pull the flag out. Close, wasn't it, of a horse collar? What a great move, though. Very high percentage pitch and catch. And then he got by his defender there with a quick little move with a juke and got an extra 15 yards with that effort. Nice job there by the visitors. We'll do another first down. Girton in the pistol. Burkholder behind him. Miller, the man in motion. Burkholder, not much space this time. Still picks up positive yardage, and the extra effort gives him about five total. Let's see who's down on the bottom of the pile. Appears to be Elijah Gibbs. Good call. The man underneath. Officially a gain of four, so second and six coming up. As we're under seven minutes to play in the first quarter. Miller stays in the backfield. Split formation, two wide receivers either way. Leading receiver Aiden Morris in the left slot. They'll hand this one off. Miller, Miller breaks a man. Gets across the 30, and another rocket first down. I'll tell you what, Gilly, they're starting to look all right. Can you see those two wrestling one another? My goodness. You see who brought him down, right? More move on the stop. You imagine those Get used two exchanging to it. one another. Oh That's my right. goodness gracious. That's a big time run right there. Nice job by the offensive line, opening up the scene, allowing Miller to get through. This time Miller stacked on the left side. Ben Burkholder in the backfield, Miller in motion. Burkholder on the run. This oh, time nowhere nice to job. go. Well read there by Bournemouth. Absolutely, Grubb also Wilson in there. Grubb, yeah, absolutely. Wilson Grubb. It drops him for a loss of two, second and 12. Loss of two on the play. That'll bring up second down and 12. Aiden Morris runs the play in. Morris, 27 catches this season, 305 yards, five touchdowns. Early injury to Colin Harris last week. Second leading receiver on this team, I mean, two weeks ago, rather. This time they'll run it to Miller, right side. Not much space, but picks up a positive gain of three yards. Venata, Meals, along with Gibbs also in there on the stop. Gets just beyond the original line of scrimmage, so third down in a, a long nine, we'll say. You know, and it's no secret, partner. You know, Pandora's playing, you know, with some injury plague players. We'll get to that here in a second. Curtin will look to pass this time. A little bit of time, throws out left, and he gets his man on the comeback. That's Chase Meyer once again, and where's the spot? He needed the 20-yard line. I think they give him the 21. They do indeed. So fourth and short for the Rockets. They'll certainly go for it here. I'll tell you what, that was a really nice route that that young man ran. Chase Meyer getting his feet set, throwing the ball out to the out there, to the boundary. Nice pitch and catch. I think he's about a yard short. Another than the interception on the first drive, Absolutely. those short routes have been there for Gurdon. Mm -hmm. And Ebright was on the stop right there. In the gun here on fourth down, spreading the field. Girton wants to throw, they'd run another short route. Actually, they run this one deep, and it's oh, caught goodness. in the end zone. Touchdown, Touchdown Rockets! How about that? Fourth and short, they decide to throw the fade, and it's caught in the end zone by Brock Stahl. I think that was almost a shocker to McComb defensively, you know what I'm saying? Defensive back never turned around. No, never turned around. Lost, lost sight of both the football and his, his man. And I think it's sort of a shocker right now. You know, Pandora's doing what they want to do. And like we mentioned earlier, they're shorthanded, partner. You know, they lost an all-state receiver. But you know what? Coming in here, you know Coach Hershey and his will to win, he's going to give everything he's got and so are those players. 
On for the PAT is Skyler Richardson. His kick is up and a good looking kick through the uprights. Ties this score at seven on the Web Insurance Agency scoreboard. We'll be right back after this. Rockets respond to a McComb touchdown with the touchdown of their own. A 20-yard pass from Corey Girton to Brock Stahl. And a successful PAT try. We are tied at seven. And Gilly, after throwing a pick on that first drive, Girton has looked fantastic, including a nicely placed ball for that touchdown. Well, you have to, you just have to love the confidence level that he's playing with. Not only is it a high level for him, but his other players are executing. The offensive line are holding up. You know, the receivers are running crisp routes, and he's delivering the football. And they took the thing right down the field. Little squib kick here. Althauser can't pick it up right away. Now gets it. I think that's and that was meals. actually Meals. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he did the right thing. He tried to grab it the first time, pick it up, and then made the smart football play and just dove on it. So McComb comes back out. 4:35 on the clock here in the first quarter. Ball placed at the 34-yard line for the Panthers. Now they're going to go to the shotgun look. Yeah, Wittenmeyer. Wittenmeyer. Mm -hmm. Wittenmeyer, 46 yards per game on the ground this season with a touchdown. And he can he can spin it also. Flag comes out. Yeah, somebody, one of the receivers on the far side well, must have started. flinched. Wittenmeyer reminds me of a, a Division 7 Tim Tebow, right? Comes in, he's the big guy, he can run the football, he'll toss it every now and then, but his purpose is just to put some pressure on this defense and bruise Absolutely. them up a bit. Yeah. And here do it too. I mean, here just put his head down and run behind those big horses up front. And there he goes, and it opens up down the middle for him. He's brought down by Miller, but a nice gain of nine yards. And bring up second down six. My goodness, how about the hole that oh. appeared right in the middle of the field? Well, you know. When you look at 245, 255, 250, 260, 215, 200, a lot of times you don't see that, what, D7 football? That's absolutely right. They're going to run it again. Oh, this nice time play. he's wrapped up in the backfield. Good Gobbled job, up there Mike by Gillespie. Yeah, absolutely. He still picks up a yard as he falls forward, so it will be third down four. Cobb also in on the tackle for the Rockets. This is what you want to put the home ball club in, third and, third and four, third and five situations. Just a nice easy comeback route sure there. Was. Ball caught by Chase Woodruff. So Wittenmeyer, who generally runs the football from the backfield tosses that one out to his left. First down for the Panthers. They're a yard short of midfield. Stall, Carson Meyer, Lane Lee on the stop. This time they'll keep a man in the backfield. Wittenmeyer still back there in the quarterback spot. Althauser lined up to his left. Wittenmeyer gives, and a nice hit in the backfield. Sure a great job there by big 79, Jake Fisher getting in the backfield with the initial contact. And it'll be a loss of three yards. Yeah, he met him, didn't he? Got his shoulder square, met him, knocked him off balance, and he fell backwards. Nice play by that senior. Second down and 13. Defensive the end, Panthers. big stop. Second and 13, the Rockets take their second timeout. Again, it looks a bit like a personnel issue with 224 in the first quarter. We'll step aside here. You're watching high school football on WOSN. Second down, 13 for McComb. 
Rockets taking their second timeout of this first half. Wittenmeyer still in at quarterback. Takes the snap, fakes the handoff, throws over the middle and pass out of reach of his target, Chase Woodruff. Yeah, he was open just a little bit in front of him. That'll bring up a third down and 13. So now third and 13. Wittenmeyer runs the play back in. Ball at the 46 of McComb. Braden Shoup in the backfield to Wittenmeyer's right. He's got two receivers split either direction. Takes the snap, rolling right, looking for a man, still looking. Now throws. His receiver fell, and it's intercepted by Lane Lee. The target was Chase Woodruff, but as he came back, he slipped, he fell, and it let Lane Lee climb yeah. right over the top of the pick. A, I think a lot of people, partner, thought there was some contact there. No, he just lost his footing. You know, once he lost his footing, it's fair game. And Ebright made a, or excuse me, it wasn't Ebright, it was Lane Lee made a big play there for the interception. That's a big turnover for McComb here as we get down to this two minute mark here of the first quarter. Curtin back to work, hands this one off to Miller. Miller up the right, met at the line of scrimmage, powers his way forward for a few. Big run there by Andrew Miller. Going right behind Jake Fisher. Deweese with the tackle. That should have been Second a one and yarder. Six. He got almost five yards, Second didn't he? Six. Goodness Good gracious, market. four yards officially. Yard you talk to anyone from Macomb, and they are never comfortable playing Pandora Gilboa. No matter what the records are, no matter what it says on paper, yep. Pandora always putting up a fight against McComb, and we're seeing that here in the first quarter. Girton looking to pass on second down. He's gonna throw deep over the top. Oh, he had he a had man. It. He sure did. Chase Meyer not quite quick enough to get to that ball as McComb's safety kind of froze. He did, didn't he? Well, he bit. He bit and you know, came up and almost had to pitch and catch here. And if he would have, I think he'd have scored. He'd have made the end zone. Now yes. third and six. Coach Hershey's done a great job as well as Coach Algy here at Macomb, you know, with the numbers he's put up. But Coach Hershey, you know, he's he's done a very, very good job there building that program at Pandora. Pass out to the right side. Meyer makes a man miss. Meyer up the right side. He has the first down. The Rockets march into Panther territory across the 40 up to the 38 and a first down. He did two really good things. Came back to the football. Right, came back, made the catch, and also used his body and slid it away from that defensive back. That's twice he's got that, that yards after contact. It's been very beneficial for PG. Two wide receivers out to the left, Miller in motion. Burkholder on the carry. Burkholder cuts it to the right side, loses his footing, but I think him losing his footing helped him fall forward for a couple extra as he picks up three, second and seven now. Yeah, Mills was bearing down on him and did a good job not letting him pop it outside, turned him back in. Like you said, that's a great job by the running back, leaning forward, getting as many yards as he possibly can. This time, Miller lined up to the left of Girton, Burkholder behind him. They'll go back to Burkholder, who puts his head down and picks up a couple more. Two good pickups will bring up third and manageable for the Rockets. Warmuth tripped him up at the ankles. And the clock ticks down to zero, and the first half, excuse me, the first quarter is history. The score tied 7-7. Seven, seven. We'll be right back. A good ball game for you on WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard is sponsored by Webb Insurance Agency, serving Lima and Allen County for more than 100 years with offices in downtown Lima and Bluffton. Welcome back to Doc Miller Field, the start of the second quarter here. It's third down and four for the Rockets. Corey Girton will pass this one, caught by Andrew Miller. 
And it looks like he picked up just enough for the first down, and he did. The Rockets moving the football very nicely here on their third drive of the evening. On the stop for the Panthers. Meals on the stop, running him out at this near side boundary. Ball up to the 28. He split two wide receivers out to the left. Burke holder to the right of Girton. Miller stacked on the left side right off the tackle. Burkholder gets the handoff. McComb fans wanted a false start, but Burkholder is allowed to move before the snap. Bormuth on the stop along with Wilson Grubb. Picks up a yard, second nine. Burkholder in the backfield. Yeah, how big would this have? Big would this be, partner, if they can come out with some points? Girton fakes the handoff, looks to pass, going deep down the left side. That one's caught over the shoulder. Was he in the end zone? The pylon's down. Referees having a quick chat. No call yet, and it is. Touchdown. Touchdown number two for Brock Stahl, catching it over his shoulder. And I don't know what's more imp impressive, the pass or the catch. I think it's a combination. I think that's just where you worked and worked and worked at in practice. And they've seen something on film, breaking these tapes down. And I think they're trying to expose. And right now, they're winning the battle at the offensive line. And the offensive line right now is setting the tone, allowing the quarterback to get his feet set to throw the football. Richardson on for the PAT. Good snap and hold, kick up. It is good. 14-7, the Rockets on top here. As we step aside, kickoff coming up after this on WOSN. Tonight's instant replay sponsor is Sprunger Insurance with locations in Pandora and Bluffton. Sprunger Insurance says go Rockets. 11-11 left here in the second quarter. A touchdown, a PAT, and actually an unsportsmanlike conduct penalty against McComb on the PAT. It was a hurdling call, so someone tried to jump over the line. And so Pandora kicks from 15 yards up. They kick it short anyway, and McComb will start this possession at their own 33. Tell you, that's a tough catch right there. I'm trying to see who well that done. was. That... By number 52, Owen DeWeese. Owen DeWeese. Nice job right there by that young man falling on that football First because that ball was kicked pretty quick to him. At their own 33. So McComb with some work to do, finding themselves down by seven. McComb 4-0, 1-0 in the BVC, ranked number four in Division Seven in the entire state. They run this one up the middle and pick up a couple. Carson Meyer leading the way right there, along with Miller on the stop. Wilson, Wilson Grubb on the carry. He picks up four. Second and six here. Second down and six. Yeah, McComb's going to try to establish some tempo here, it appears. They pitch this out to the left side. This is Althauser. Althauser nowhere to go, and he's wrapped up and brought down. Lane Lee with the tackle in the backfield drops him for a loss of two. Now Lee's going to get credit for that tackle, but it all started with Burkholder doing a good job coming up from that secondary spot, eluding that blocker, stringing it out. Good job there by Pandora's defense. Again, putting him in a situation, if you could put – you know, McComb in a third down and six, third down and eight situation. You're doing your job defensively. It's Wittenmeyer in the backfield now. Spread formation, Wittenmeyer looks to throw. Now tosses this one, it's caught. Big catch there by Chase Woodruff as he crosses midfield. A third down conversion up to the Rocket 49 yard line. Chase Meyer, Carson Meyer on the stop. Yeah, there was a little confusion right there defensively by Pandora. 
Good job by the recognition of McCombs quarterback to find that receiver. Nice pitch and catch. Panthers back under center. They hand this one off to the right side. Woodruff, the quarterback on that possession, hands it to Wilson Grubb. Pick up of two. Landon Moore on the stop, along with Parker Gillespie. Same formation, three backs across the backfield. This time to the left side. That time it's Braden Shoup. Again, Ben Burkholder doing a good job. You know, staying to the outside, forcing that runner back into the middle of the field where his teammates can help out. It's a pick above four on the play. Third down four here. Woodruff under center, hands to the right. This time it's Althauser, and he's going to fall a yard short, but a good spot to go for it here for McComb. Fisher and Miller with the help of Aiden Morris. They need to get to the 39-yard line, ball at the 40 and a half. Peters Mills coming in offensively. Shoop. Woodruff under center. Big possession right here. I know it's early on, but it's still big. Althauser breaks it to the outside. He's got the edge, and he puts a shoulder down and runs over the tackler, Chase Meyer. Great vision by that young man, because I'll tell you what, they had him bottled up right there, you know, between the, the guard and tackle, and he found the the opportunity to bounce it outside, and that's just a great vision and a great cut to the outside. And then to lower the shoulder like he did. Ball to the 22, back under center. This time it's Grubb. Grubb, nice pickup on first down, and that's what McComb likes to do. They don't mind getting four or five yards every play, and why would they? Clock in their favor. Yeah, it's real simple. Their philosophy is going to be if you're going to stop me, you got to put me in fourth down situations because, like you said, they did, they want to ground it and they want to pound it. Second and a long five. They try to get the outside this time. Nothing there. Good job holding on by Chase Meyer. Well, but look who started the play. Burkholder's doing a great job right there, turning that thing back in. No, man slow to get up for Pandora. That's Andrew Miller. Yeah, you're not going to keep him out of the game very long. He may have to come out this play. Let's see what the officials do. Third Good job there seven. by Pandora. For the Panthers. Running to the football. Again, Burkholder's not getting these stats. But you watch the film, he's doing exactly what the coaches are telling him to do, not letting him bounce it outside. No question. Because we saw what happened the last time Burkholder got it. He popped that thing to the outside, and it was a foot race. Wittenmeyer back in the shotgun, takes the snap, looking up the middle. Not much room for him as he picks up maybe a few. Burkholder on the stop. Chase Meyer on the stop. They have 12 men on the field. They ran that entire play with 12 men on the field. Here comes the flag. But here's the deal. That last play was run with 12 men on the field for Pandora. So I don't know if they're going to correct the last I play or not. I don't know if they can or if it's going to be an eligible player. You know what I'm saying? Because yes, yeah. It's one of the two. Let's see how they're. I'm glad I'm not a referee. Me too. We sometimes think we are, but until we're <laughs> into that moment. So the referees will have a chat with Coach Hershey on the far side. No explanation to Coach Algy yet on the McComb side. Back up, back up, back up. 
So we'll either have a penalty on this fourth down or a penalty from the last play on third down. They're gonna mark it off from the end of the play. It's a 10 yard penalty and a first down. Ball up just beyond the 10 yard line. So it's first and goal for McComb. Chris E. Wall. Yep. Matt Cummings on this near side. Wittenmeyer still in at quarterback. Yeah, that's a big penalty right there. That chunks that 10 yards and puts it down at first down. Run this one to the left side. And another nice job by that Pandora defense. Bringing it out. They drop him for no gain, maybe a pickup. No, they right at the line of scrimmage. So it brings up second and goal from the nine. Chase Meyer on the stop. Appeared to be Carson Meyer helping him out. Now Woodruff under center. Woodruff hands this one to the left. They get across the five yard line with Brad Meals. Brad Meals. Really good vision there, didn't it? You know, he, he cut that thing right up behind the center and the left guard. Got as much as he could. Third and goal from the five yard line. How big are these two plays? Woodruff taking his time. Play clock at 16, no rush here. They'll run this to the left. It's Meals again, but in comes oh a flag. Boy. He gets into the end zone for the score, but flag there came in in the area the of holding, so they'll back it up and it'll be a big third down. If that's indeed what the call is. Pandora players are pointing. Still waiting on the official call. That might be chop block. Yeah, that's right. They block, block. marked them off 10 yards. Block below the waist, or below the knees, excuse me. Third and goal. Ball on the 15 yard line. This is Wittenmeyer and yeah, McComb will Al take yeah, a timeout. Coach Algy wants to take one here. As they talk it over, we'll step aside as well. 4.53 to go in the first half. It's 14-7, Pandora on top, right here on WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard is sponsored by Webb Insurance Agency, serving Lima and Allen County for more than 100 years. With offices in downtown Lima and Bluffton. Third down and goal from the 15 yard line. Wittenmeyer looks to pass over the middle, in and out of the hands of his target. And great defense there by Aiden Morris sure knocking was. it away. Sure was. He was going to keep him in front of him. If he even caught it, he wasn't going to get to the end zone. He happened to get a hand in there, a big paw in there, and knock it down. So fourth and 15 now. They'll throw the block the in, it. and they'll try the field goal. It'll be from 32 yards out. Chase Woodruff, the kicker. Eight on the play clock. They're going to have to snap this quick. High snap, but they get it down. The kick is up, and it is short. So the score remains 14-7, and with 4.39 left in the half, the Rockets have a chance to make this a two-score game. The offense has had three total possessions in this game, an interception on one, and then two scores, both on pretty passes to the end zone. 
Well, both teams have turned to the opposition, one turnover apiece. But like you said, if they can sustain a drive here like they have in this first half and get this to a two-score game on the road, that's huge. Curtin takes the snap, hands it to Burkholder. Burkholder with some space. He's hit hard. Picks up a nice chunk of yards on first down. Trying to see who that was that come up from the secondary. Chase Woodruff. He got his money's worth on that one, didn't he? he sure did. A McComb player shaking up on the play. Jake Van Atta taking a second to get back. Picks up four. Second down, six. Two wide receivers split out to the right side. Scratch that. They'll split it out to the left, and they're going to have to take their third timeout. All three of the timeouts in this half have been because of miscommunication instead of clock management. So with 3.52 on the clock, the Rockets take a timeout. We'll take one as well. We'll be back with more after this on WOSN. The replay sponsor is Sprunger Insurance with locations in Pandora and Bluffton. Go Rockets. Second down, five. Actually make it six for the Rockets. Curtin in the shotgun. No timeouts remaining for Pandora. They're going to go deep again. This time an errant pass in and out of the hands of Chase Woodruff. That would have been huge for McComb as he might have had a decent chance at a pick six, but instead it's third down six for the Rockets. Well, did you see the defensive adjustments it's made now? Now they're starting to roll somebody over the top to give double double coverage help there. I was a little surprised he didn't look him off and come this side to this one-on-one -on -one situation. Third but down and five for the Rockets. Lucky, like you said, that that ball wasn't intercepted. Spread formation this time, Girton to pass. Curtin with time, throws over the top again. It's Morris, and what a oh, grab as Morris reaches back and brings it in, crossing midfield up to the 48 of McComb and a big first down for Pandora. You know, give credit to the quarterback. He threw that thing to an area where it was not going to be intercepted. It was either going to be incomplete or complete, but no interception there. Nice pitch and catch. Two out to the right side this time. Miller in the backfield. Miller will get the carry. Miller cuts back in, makes a couple guys miss, and he's close to another first down. Looks like he'll be a yard short. Either way, a great pickup on first, and it's a second and one coming up. Heck of a cutback right there. Shoot on the stop. Still, still three minutes on the clock and counting. Yeah, put themselves down in a situation where they can kick the thing, you know what I'm saying, or try to get some points. They keep it on the ground. Miller picks up the first, puts his head down, and picks up a few extra down to the 34-yard line. Chains move once again. Clock at 241. Excuse me, partner. Bormuth on the stop. Think we're up. Yeah, those three timeouts, you know what? They get through this first half maintaining the seven-point lead. Those three timeouts were used very well. <laughs> no question. <laughs> you know? Spread formation to either side. Curtin wants to pass. Curtin over the top. He's got a man. It's caught. Oh, it's a touchdown. Him. Chase Meyer with the grab and the score. And my goodness, three touchdown passes for Corey Girton in the first half. And the underdog Rockets have a two-score lead and a PAT pending. What a beautiful ball thrown right there. What a great route right down the seam. A big night for Chase Meyer. Skyler Richardson for the PAT. Snaps low, nice job getting it down by Aiden Morris. And they get it up and in, 2-12 to go. In the first half, McComb 
down by two scores. They'll get the ball back when we return on WOSN. Twenty-one seven, Pandora on top of Macomb here at Doc Miller Field on the campus of Macomb Schools. The Rockets with three touchdown passes in the first half. They'll kick this back to Macomb with 2:12 to go. Macomb with two timeouts remaining in the half. Lee lines it up, squib kick. That'll be picked up at the 26-yard line. Looking for space down the left side is Woodruff. And Woodruff runs over a man in good field position for McComb as they start this drive from their own 45. Isaac Stahl running him out here on this near side boundary. About to 45-yard line. In on the stop, Chase Flyer for the Rockets. First down and 10. You look at the numbers, partner, it's on paper for these first four games for the seasonal stats. And right now, Macomb, you look at the, the stat sheet, but on the scoreboard, it's all PG right now. And it's Wittenmeyer to throw. Rolls out, throws over the top, over the head of his target. Dangerous one is sure sometimes was. you see those go over the head and right into the hands of a safety, but falls harmlessly to the turf and brings up second and 10. Carson Meyer there with the hit. One hundred twenty-one seconds to play in the first half. It's a good job with the pressure defensively there by Landon Moore also on the quarterback. Wittenmeyer to pass quickly to the right side. This one brought in by Donovan Hepperly. And Hepperly picks up a couple, punished at the end of that one with a big hit. Brought down by Aiden Morris. Pick up of three, third and seven. Gerr Schultz on the stop also. Three or four white uniform players in there on the stop for the Rockets. Again, Third and long situation, partner. This time the Panthers taking their time. Might keep this one on the ground. Rockets with no timeouts to stop the clock. Wittenmeyer, pass, nope, he pulls it down, runs right into the defensive lineman. And you know what, partner? That play is designed to get the offense or the defensive lineman to bite hard, but that time a great job by big 75 Parker Gillespie oh, it was. just standing right in the middle of the field and letting Wittenmeyer run into him. Yep, that's disciplined football right there. So fourth down six, punting unit onto the field. McComb can run it down to about 30, maybe 28 seconds before they have to snap the ball. But Girton throwing the ball really nicely. You never know what could happen if the Rockets get another offensive play. It's Chase Meyer back to return. Nice punt, nice and high. Takes a hop at the 20, and it rolls down to the 12. McComb smartly will not touch it to run a couple more seconds off that clock, and it'll be 21 to go till half. Something tells me you're going to see a kneel right here. But then again, the way he's thrown the football, <laughs> he may just wing it. You never know. Up two scores, you certainly don't want to make a big mistake. I don't think McComb, I don't think McComb is going to let them get behind him. I think they're going to drop everybody back and keep the football in front of them. Well, they do come out in shotgun. Girton with Burkholder and Miller in the backfield. Curtin takes the snap. He'll hand this to Miller. Miller up the middle. Again, no timeouts for the Rockets, so if they want to run a play, they'll have to hustle. Well, the clock will stop. It is a first down. Got him 10 yards there, that young man did. And it looks like Coach Hershey not in a hurry to get a play in, and he will be content with the 21-7 score. The Rockets... On the verge of a stunner, a half away from a big upset. Can they hold on? 
We will find out after the break. You're watching High School Football on WOSN. Welcome back to Doc Miller Field, home of the Macomb Panthers, who currently trail 21-7 against the Pandora Gilboa Rockets. Evan Skilleter, Darren Gilbert with you here at Macomb in a great first half for the Rockets, especially through the air, Darren, as Corey Girton has lit things up. Yeah, he, he's definitely been on. Like you said, we just talked, and he – his first pass was an interception, but since that time, he has been absolutely on fire. And his receivers have run great routes. And the most important thing is his front five has protected him. I think his jersey has no dirt on it so far from an offensive standpoint. Another kick on the ground, no return as it's picked up by Chase Woodruff and McComb will start the half with the football, McComb Total offense, exactly 100 yards on 29 plays. Now, Gilly, this is a team that averages 441 yards of offense per game, and they're not even a quarter of the way to that total through one half. Well, and part of that is, is you got to give credit to to, to uh, PG and their defensive prowess right now and their, their game plan. They're putting uh, McCall in second, third long situations. And when you do that and you force them to throw the football, you know, we both know what McComb's bread and butter is, and that's on the ground. Running the ball for the Panthers. That's a good start there if you're the home ball club. Coming out and getting, what, five yards on that first play. Brings up second down five. That's Wittenmeyer at quarterback, hands this one off left side. This is Brad Meals. Meals picks up a couple, but it will be third down for McComb. Big stop there by Jake Fisher, the six foot, 230 pound senior. Yeah, the the halftime stats show Althauser with six carries, 23 yards. Grubb with six carries, 22 yards. Wittenmeyer, four carries, 13 yards. And Brad Meals, four carries, well, 10 and, yards. And Althauser's big play was the where he bounced it outside, or he doesn't have over 10 yards in that first half. They run this one up the middle. The Rockets oh, blitz. They boy. get there first. They bring them down short. How about Andrew Miller getting through there first in our replays tonight, sponsored by Sprunger Insurance. Yeah, doesn't that just sound like a football name, Andrew Miller? Well, I don't know. I'm a Guardians fan. Back in 2016, the Indians were making a run oh, yeah. to the World Series behind Andrew Miller coming out the bullpen. But either way. A little size difference, huh? That <laughs> may be. Under center, McComb, they run the quarterback keeper, pick up the first down. High percentage right there. And that was Chase Woodruff under center, Went carrying right it for the first down. Rubbing DeWeese for that first down. Had a real nice conversation with uh, Nick Bormoose's dad down there. Really enjoyed it. Nice, uh, nice fella. Got to meet his one son who's at Tiffin and Big carry there to the left side. Wilson Grubb picks up six, maybe seven on the carry. It is seven, so it'll be second and three. Chase Meyer on the stop, and he was telling me his son's getting recruited by some Division I programs, and I sort of snickered at him, and I said, yeah, they want to make him a guard on offense. And he's like, oh, yeah, that's what they want to do. Well, it's 6'4", and 250 oh, nice pounds there. or so. I suppose that's not a bad shout as the Rockets get the better of McComb up front this time, stop him for no gain on the carry from Althauser. Ball right at midfield. Miller and Car Carson Meyer there, putting him in a third and what, about four. They go back under center, Chase Woodruff. Three runners lined up behind him, he'll hand this to the left, and a big first down, and still on his feet is Brad Meals as he rumbles all the way down to the Pandora 34-yard line. Yeah, got a head of steam going right there and just bounced yeah. off the defenders. If it wasn't for Miller grabbing him at the ankles, he's on his way to pay dirt. This is a great start to the half for McComb. Now, they did score on their first possession of the first half and stalled out the rest of the way. Now, back to the ground with Meals. Meals picks up a couple more, gain of four. 
Coming out with a little bit of more of a mojo, huh? Well, I'm sure. Stop. Yeah, I'm sure it wasn't quiet at halftime no. in the locker room. No. Nope. We'll leave it at that. Ball down to the 30-yard line. Second down six. Woodruff back under center. The snap. They hand this to the right side, cutting back to the left, and picking up a few is Althauser. Good job right there, hurtling over the initial defenders there to get as much as they possibly can. Maybe third and four. Three third down so far on this drive. You gotta believe this is two down territory if he doesn't get it here. And they run it to the left side. Another nice open field tackle, this time by Lane Lee. It's a pickup of a couple, another fourth and short. This time two yards out. Yeah, that kid had a big interception, Mr. Lee, we're talking about here. Down. In the first Ready half. Down to two. So fourth and two. Woodruff runs the play in. Under center, takes the snap. Hands to the left. Trying to bounce it outside is Meals. He's got the first down and more. Meals down inside the 15 yard line before he's pushed out of bounds. And they're going to give him the 14 and a first down for the Panthers. Yeah, they had him bottled up between the tackles. And he, good vision there, popped it and bounced it outside. Nice run by that young man, Mr. Meals. 7.14 on the clock. Now it starts ticking. They hand it to the right side this time. Not much there, but... Still, as you see often from Macomb, they turn nothing into something often. That time, a pickup of three. Carson Meyer on the stop for the Rockets. Now to the left, Meals turns his body, picks up a couple more, and partner, one thing about a team that runs they run the clock. We're almost halfway through this third quarter already on this first possession. Yeah, they're they're going to go to the bread and butter, you know, and they're just going to pound it at you and have the attitude. If you're going to stop me, you've got to stop us this particular way. Third down four. They get a man to move, but they didn't get into the neutral zone, so able to step back. They run this down the left. Aldhauser near the goal line. He's got a first down down at the one yard line. Now somebody had him by the ankles. If they don't get him by the ankles, that's a touchdown. Appeared to be number 11 with that touchdown save and tackle, Lane Lee. It looks like they gave him the two or the three yard line. So first and goal. McComb runs all the way through half of this third quarter, knocking on the door of a touchdown. They keep it with Woodruff, and he crosses the goal line. Touchdown, Panthers. Yeah, the big, the big unit up front definitely dominated that series. He just pinned her ears back and got off the football. Comb does what they do best, punching this into the end zone. 13 now with a PAT pending. Yeah, you can definitely see they come out with a different attitude after halftime. Snap and hold good. Kick up right through the middle. And McComb back to within seven, 21-14. Pandora's opening possession of the second half coming up after this on WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard sponsor is Webb Insurance Agency, serving Lima and Allen County for more than 100 years with offices in downtown Lima and Bluffton. 21-14 on that scoreboard. The Rockets on top of McComb, but McComb striking first in the second half, running more than half of the time off the clock in this third quarter. I'm, I'm, I'm curious, Evan, what is the defense adjustment that McComb's going to make to put some pressure on 
Pandora's quarterback. And a return on the left side. Keeping his feet is Lane Lee. Lee hit hard out of bounds, but a great return across the 40-yard line, and here comes that Rocket offense. Very efficient in the first half. 26 plays, 231 yards, and we talked about Corey Girton. He threw a pick on his first pass, but he's 8 of 11 for 160 yards and three touchdowns. I'll tell you what, what a wicked hit we just seen down in front of us by on Lane Lee. That young man bounced right back up because I'll tell you, there was three red hats that met him over here by the boundary near us. They run this one to Miller trying to get to the outside. There is nowhere for him to go. Keeps his feet churning, turns his body, ends up picking up four yards on the carry. Yeah, it took a minus two. Well, give him five. My goodness. Five indeed crosses the 45 up to the 47, and it will be second and five for Pandora. But you got to love the way he carries the football because everything is carrying him. You know, his balance, he's going to get as much as he can with that lean. Superb leg strength and balance. Miller to the left of Girton, Burkholder behind him. They fake to Burkholder. Girton looks to pass, throws. It's Morris. He's open. Morris down the right side. Morris inside the 20, down to the 16-yard line. And how about Girton on the run that time? Well, Girton really did a good job because his first initial was to throw to the flat to Miller, looked him off, went to the second check, and made it an absolute dime right there. Nice pitch and catch. The Rockets respond nicely. Still some work to do. 16 yards out, first down 10. Miller in the backfield, lined up to Girton's right. Three receivers out to the left side. They hand this one to Miller. He's wrapped up and dropped. Take a look and see who that is. I'm trying to identify. Big 67 that, that time. Is that Grubb? That is Elijah Gibbs. Or Gibbs, excuse me. Elijah Gibbs making the stop for the It's a gain of one, second down nine. Grubbs in the secondary. Nice play there. Big series from McComb defensively. Same formation here. They hand it off. McComb misses a tackle in the backfield. How about Miller stepping by a defender and picking up a nice second down gain. Third coming up, and it will be five yards. Gibbs with great penetration to the backfield. Just couldn't get his arms wrapped around by or get his arms wrapped around, excuse me, Miller. And Miller got up ahead of steam and chunked off about five yards right there. Big third down here, Girton in the gun. Snap, throws over the top, oh, he's got goodness. a man. What a play right there. The Carson Meyer touchdown on the play action pass in the Rockets. Punch one in themselves. Yeah, that's execution right there to perfection, isn't it? And a PAT pending Carson Meyer with the touchdown. The to Carson Meyer. Richardson on for the PAT. Snap, hold, kick. It is good. 28-14 on the Web Insurance scoreboard. The Rockets matching the McComb touchdown. And we will be right back on WOSN. Tonight's instant replay sponsor is Sprunger Insurance with locations in Pandora and Bluffton. Go Rockets. Two and a half what minute amazing. drive there for Pandora Gilboa after McComb melts six and a half minutes off the clock. Now another low kick, and this one's still on the ground, now picked up. And across the 35 go the Panthers. That's Chase Woodruff. Burkholder on the stop. Boy, he's had a nice ball game tonight. Finally got him a solo tackle there. So if you're McComb, still don't need to go to the air here. You can run your game plan, which is obviously to keep the ball on the ground. 
So I think it's going to come down to the defense and finding some way to put some pressure on the quarterback because if Pandora gives him an opportunity to sit back here and just sling it, he's he, you know he's been very successful doing that. We're going to pass this one, and it is caught. My goodness, or no, it did hit the ground. Almost a great adjustment there by Braxton Althauser. Hits the turf, though, and brings up second and ten. Yeah, just think if he'd hit him in stride, he, you know, it had been a foot race to the end zone because he had a lot of green in front of him. They'll stay in the shotgun. Blake Wittenmeyer, the quarterback. Wittenmeyer keeps this one. And nice cut. He's got some space, puts his shoulder down. That's a tough man to bring down. Wittenmeyer listed at 6'2", 220. He gets nine yards and brings up third and one. Aiden Moore's coming up, putting a licking on him. Paid the who, price. Well, I, don't, I don't know which one put the licking on Let's go 50-50 on that one because that was two aggressive players going at it. That's kind of you. Ooh. Woodruff under center. They go right back up the middle. This time it's Grubb picking up the first down and getting into Rocket territory up to the 49. Going right underneath that center and that big offensive line. McGill. Amador. Gibbs. Bormuth. Deweese. Venata at the tight end. Meals on the run this time, nowhere to go. Picks up a yard, but a good job by the right side of that defense for the Rockets coming up to make the tackle is Chase Meyer and a host of Rockets alongside Eli Cobb. Second and nine. I can't, couldn't say that any better, partner, because there was a host of white jerseys in there, wasn't there? Shotgun formation, Wittenmeyer. Hands oh, this off, how about the contact in the backfield? Jake Fisher in there, as well as Zach Cloyce Wolf. Actually, it Big was 76. 48, I believe. Landon Moore stepped up there also and put a licket on there, uh, running back. They drop him for a loss and drop him to a third down 10. Wittenmeyer alone in the backfield. This is a big one, partner. Sure is. Trips out left. Wittenmeyer to pass. Plenty of time. No penetration from the line. Throws this one deep and in and out of the hands of the target. Good coverage downfield. Nicely thrown ball, too. Really was. Aiden Morris in coverage. Knocking the ball away, bringing up fourth and 10, and I think McComb's gonna have to punt. They will yeah, indeed quiet, go to punt I formation. See what they're doing. Oh, could, could, you know, could they fake it? Don't be shocked. Aiden Morris back to return on the right side. Lane Lee on the left. And I think that's what Pandora's playing right there. McComb will kick, nice spiraling kick, will bounce at the 16 and just die right at the 10-yard line. Nice punt there by McComb. Yeah, Mr. Lee wanted no part of that one. He just let it die there at the 10. It was Braxton Althauser with the punt. And so the Rocket offense comes back out, 53 seconds left in this quick-moving third quarter. And this is a passing team, but they've run the ball relatively efficiently here in the game, and so a chance to melt some of that clock. And if they can punch it in with only a quarter remaining against a team that likes to run the football, my goodness, how big would that be for the Rockets? Uh, here's the big part for Pandora. Just Pandora Gilbo, stay within the game plan and execute. Ben Burkholder on the carry. He has space and a nice job hitting that hole hard, picking up about seven on the carry. Ben. Really good job there by the offensive line. We got a flag on this near side. The flag thrown by the side official. Usually that indicates illegal formation. Referees having a quick chat. I want to thank Sprunger Insurance for sponsoring our instant replay tonight. 
And they wave off the flag. Well, no official call. He did look to the Pandora sideline to wave it off, and now we'll wave it off here. So the play stands. It's an eight-yard pickup from Ben Burkholder to bring up second down two. 46 on the game clock, 25 on the play clock, so they'll run at least one more play here in the half. In the quarter, excuse me. Shotgun formation. Miller in the backfield next to Girton. It'll be Miller on the carry. Miller cuts up field. A nice job getting low as he dives near the line to gain. And they will not have to run another play in the quarter. I think we're going to switch ends here, partner. Fifteen on the game clock, 25 on the play clock. Coach Hershey talking to his players, so don't expect to see anything here as our Third quarter comes to an end. The Rockets still on top by two scores. It's 28-14 on the Web Insurance Agency scoreboard as we step aside. Fourth quarter coming up after this. Will we have an upset in Macomb? You're watching High School Football on WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard is sponsored by Webb Insurance Agency, serving Lima and Allen County for more than 100 years with offices in downtown Lima and Bluffton. Welcome back to Doc Miller Field. It's the start of the fourth quarter as the Rockets lead 28-14 on the road at Macomb. And a third and short here. They hand it to Andrew Miller. Miller with a big pickup, but a flag Andrew comes in <laughs> at the 22-yard line. That looks to be, you got to figure between the tackles. And I'll tell you what, the Rockets pointing McCombs' direction. It's an illegal hands to the head against McCombs. So tack on 15 to the end of that run. We'll wait for the official call from the referee. No, the yeah, that's one that's not going to make Coach Algie happy. Illegal hands to the face called against Elijah Gibbs. So the ball all the way up to the Pandora 47 yard line. A big penalty as the Rockets move and the clock continues to tick. Miller in the backfield, two receivers split to the left. Pitches it out to Miller, Miller Gets his face mask grabbed, another flag comes out. And so tack on 15 to that one. That is 30 free yards for Pandora in just two plays. Yeah, those are the ones that, you know, as a coach, it's going to drive you nuts. Because if there's any time you got to keep your composure, it's got to be right now. And like you said, 33 yards of penalties in the last two plays. Ball up to the McComb 35-yard line. You know, McComb can ill afford to give up another touchdown here. That's going to put them down three scores with under, what, 10 minutes to go? you got to figure we got 11-22. Curtin has Ben Burkholder behind him. Miller stacked on the right side. They hand it to Burkholder. Burkholder with space. A big pickup. Another first down still on his feet down to the 20-yard line. Ben Burkholder this time with the carry. And after getting the job done through the air in the first half, the Rockets starting to move the ball very effectively on the ground here in the second. At the McComb 20 yard line. Back to the line of scrimmage they go. Girton with Burkholder behind him. Burkholder takes a step back. The snap, the carry, left side. Burkholder puts his head down. He's still on his feet inside the five, down to the one-yard line. 
Heck of a run by that young man. The ball carrier. Kept his feet moving and churning. First and goal for the Rockets. Got to give a lot of credit to the men up front. Seth Carell, Logan Moser. They'll run this to the left side. Miller head down across the goal line. Touchdown, Rockets. Cloyce Rockets. Wolf. Dalton Durst, Jake Fisher. They are absolutely controlling the line of scrimmage. And with 10.02 to go, it's 34-14. Skyler Richardson on for the PAT. Aiden Morris to hold. Good snap, hold, kick. It is good. 35-14, the Rockets on top of the number four team in Division Seven in the entire state of Ohio. We'll see if McComb can bring it back after the break. You're watching High School Football on WOSN. Tonight's instant replay sponsor is Sprunger Insurance with locations in Pandora and Bluffton. Go Rockets! 10.02 to go, Rockets lead this one 35-14. Their season average, total yards per game 346, right now 349 with 10 minutes to go. Moving the ball extremely efficiently through the air and on the ground. As they kick this back to McComb, they pick it up and return down the right side. Nice tackle in the open field by Carson Meyer on the far side. Well, you got good eyes because I was having difficulty seeing who that was, but it was Carson Meyer. Well, Carson Meyer has some size. I don't necessarily need to see his number. That's a good size player for Pandora. Quarterback. That's right. He can throw the ball. We've seen him catch a touchdown pass today. And a nice open field tackle there as McComb takes over from the 40 yard line. Nine minutes. 58 seconds to play for a team that likes to run the football. I think they're going to have to air it out a little bit here. Wittenmeyer, the quarterback, takes the snap, fakes the handoff, runs down the right side, wrapped up in the backfield and brought down. Guess who? It's the big number eight, Carson Meyer. Boy, he's played well on both sides of the ball. What a heady play right there. Little RPO set. Quarterback kept the football. Dropped him for a minus two. Yeah, I'm like you. You know, McComb's going to have to change your philosophy right here in the game plan. They're going to have to start throwing the football. Wittenmeyer again in the gun. Spread formation. Althauser to his left. Wittenmeyer runs to his left, wants to pass, now throws. He goes deep, has a man in and out of the hands of Chase Woodruff. He had him. I don't know if he could have threw a better ball right there. Just unfortunate, went off his fingertips. But I'm telling you, he got his shoulder square to the line of scrimmage, and that was a beautifully thrown ball. Tough break right there. That brings up third and long. 13 yards to go. Back to the shotgun, Wittenmeyer still back there. If you're Pandora, this is where you want to keep the football in front of you. Don't let anybody sneak behind you. Wittenmeyer with time, throws to the outside and in and out of the hands of Grady Schrader. And again, this is what you see from a team that doesn't pass the ball very often. Sometimes the hands not quite ready. Two drop passes in a row, a fourth and long, and they're going to have to punt the football. Yeah, they're going to have to punt the football, and they're going to have to rely on their defense to try to get a stop or force a turnover. Again, another nice thrown ball right there. That one you got to secure if you're McComb. Tough break right there. Back deep for the Rockets. 
Morris back to return this one. This kick a little bit short down the right side. It takes a McComb bounce down to the 31 yard line. 8.55 to go. The Rockets offense back out onto the field. A three and out for the Panthers. Yeah, if you're if you're McComb right now, you just got to pin your ears back and try to get some pressure on the quarterback, but then you also got to prepare for that run because they've gouged them defensively with some big plays on the running game also. Third down and 10, Rockets. Two runners in the backfield. Miller to the left of Girton. Burkholder lined up behind him. Morris in the slot at the top of your screen. They'll hand this one to Burkholder. Burkholder with some space, trying not to get out of bounds, and he's able to stay in and pick up five yards. What a luxury to have to have a big fella, Mr. Miller, to run behind and let him open up some holes for you. Officially a gain of four, so second and six coming up. Well, the key thing is he stayed in bounds. That was big time. You could tell he was trying to get down before he could be pushed. Over that line, clock continues to tick down to 821. They flip the runners in the backfield. Miller on the right side of Girton. Burkholder still behind. They give it to Miller. Miller. Stopped at the line of scrimmage, a nice tackle. Sure was. Trying to see who's coming up from the pile. I believe that's Burmuth with the tackle. It's the biggest guy on the field, was so I have to okay. imagine. I was going to say him and probably uh, Gibbs. Sort of tough to see that. I guess as you get older, the eyes start to go away a little bit, too. Don't <laughs> That's what make, the glasses don't are for, my man. Don't make a comment. You'll be old someday, too. Hey, the hair's not all the way gray yet, Gilly, so uh, you're doing till, okay. Wait till it starts falling out. <laughs> Third down, six. Girton to pass. Throws this one. It's caught, and it's a first down. Chase Meyer with the grab. A great dart thrown by Corey Girton. And the Rockets move the chains. Yeah, I'm looking at his uniform. And I'm telling you, that uniform is as clean as it was at the beginning of the game. That's a great point. Another great route there by his wide receiver, Chase Meyer, securing that football and protecting it, not letting it get stripped. They stay in the gun, just Miller in the backfield this time. They give to Miller. Miller picks up a couple. Just what the doctor ordered, but a flag comes out. Not what the doctor ordered for McComb as the Rockets tend to, or seem to think that it's a penalty against McComb. Now let's see what it, uh, what Mr. Ewald decides to call here. Personal foul. Against the Panthers. Yeah, that's 15 free yards. Partner, this second half, we've seen three 15-yard penalties go against McComb. Well, McComb come out right there in the third quarter and hit Pandora Gilboa in the mouth, scored that touchdown, and give credit to Pandora Gilboa. They returned the punch and went down, remembering that two minutes and 30-some seconds and scored, and it's that they deflated McComb this second half with that early touchdown. Absolutely, run to the right side. Miller wrapped up in the backfield. He'll be dropped for a short loss. Andrew Miller, the ball carrier. That's Elijah Gibbs Elijah on the tackle Miller. as the clock nears Biggest six minutes. Young man's had a nice ball game tonight for the Panthers. Loss of it's a loss of a yard. yard, second down, Not 11. Second down and 11. Still Miller in the backfield. Meyer lined up, stacked on the left side. Morris in the slot on the left. Miller with the carry. Looking to get outside, puts his shoulder down and a nice hard run as he runs over the tackler, Octavian Gonzalez. Is that who it was? Boy, you got good eyes. I appreciate you saying that, but I really don't. 
<laughs> and you got better eyes than me. How's that sound? Eric, one six for the Rockets. Yeah, Pandora does not need to score here. I know being a youngster and you want to you want to score another touchdown. Just take care of the football. That clock is your friend. Curtin in the gun. Third down, seven yards to go. He's going to pass this one. Morris, the inside route. It's caught. It's a first down Rockets. You know, just in small talk, talking to some McComb people, they watched this young quarterback play earlier this year, and he didn't have a very good night. That just shows you his work ethic and what he's been doing in practice because he's been spot on ever since that first pass for that interception. He could have folded the tents and nope, he came right back out and plugged away and look at the numbers he's putting up tonight. Fantastic job by Corey Gurton. He's got the Rockets inside the 20. They pitch it outside to Burkholder. Burkholder cuts back, makes a couple miss, tripped up inside the 10 yard line. Picks up about seven or eight yards. We'll see the official mark. They're going to give him eight, so a second and two. That's all Burkholder right there with his quick feet and his little dance and juke move right there to get away from two defenders to get that yardage for the Rockets. For the Rockets. Under four minutes to play, even if... McComb can stop Pandora here. I don't know if they have enough time to score three touchdowns. They'll hand this one to Burkholder. And Burkholder near the line to gain. And he does have a first down, gets inside the five up to the four. Octavian Gonzalez with the stop, but that clock's still ticking near three minutes. First and goal for the Rockets. These Panther fans stunned at what they're seeing tonight. A Rockets team that's come in two and two. A big win week one against Columbus Grove. A tough loss week two to the Bluffton Pirates, who are number seven in Division Six. Yeah, I think number 71 right, right there. They got him for a false start. And you know what that does? It gives them more space to run some time off the clock. False start. The They'll move it back five yards to the nine. Still first and goal. First and goal for the Rockets at the nine yard line. Taking their time, clock ticking under three. Some people may be wondering why the Panthers aren't taking a timeout. Well, don't know if it helps much at this point. This is not a spot that McComb is accustomed to, especially in the regular season. This is a pitch to Aiden Morris on the jet sweep, and so an official pass for Corey Girton. And they get those penalty yards back, plus one. Gibbs on the stop. Elijah Gibbs making the tackle for the Panthers. Ball at the four-yard line. Appears to be Wilson Grubb coming up a little bit lame there. Hopefully he's okay. He's staying in. He's hobbling around, but he's staying in there. Girton in the gun. Miller behind him. Miller gets the carry. Miller puts his shoulder down near the goal line, and he's and down he just over. shy. The ball carrier. So a third and one. I've never heard this place so quiet, Gilly. Well, you Not know, in Pandora, Pandora ball. fans are really quiet on the other I think side. they're surprised perhaps too, but well, you know this what? is a, a team that has worked hard. They've executed. I can't count more than two or three penalties that they've had in this game. They give it to Miller. Miller behind the line of scrimmage, pushes into the end zone. Touchdown, Rockets. 41 to 14 in Macomb. As some fans get up and head toward the exit on the Macomb side.
this is midpoint of the season. You know McComb is going to be there in the end when it comes to the playoffs with the 16 teams. Pandora, this is a huge win for them. you got to feel like, you know, they're going to elevate quite a bit in the computer point standings. A lot of football left. Richardson's PAT up, and it is good. Flags come in at the end. We'll stay here and get the call. I think they're gonna call it against McComb. That'll make it 60 yards of personal foul penalties against McComb here in the second half. Yeah, it's very uncharacteristic out of Coach Algie's uh, players, and I'm sure they're frustrated, but that's where you got to just keep your composure and play through. And I'm sure he's going to address that come Monday. A lot of football left. You know, they're one game back in the conference race now, speaking of McComb. Pandora in the driver's seat. I know it's early. It's only two games. Right. But this opens things up wide for the entire BVC. On this night in September, they got beat by a better team. Absolutely. Pandora Gilbo did what they had to do. They were prepared. Kudos to them. Their coaching staff, you know, they're they're down a couple key players, and for them to come in here on the road and win this game the way they did it, congratulations to them. This ball returned up to the 30-yard line, 110 on the clock. You know, and there's a lot of folks sitting around us that feels the same way. Tonight's game was Pandora Gilboa's. Now I'm sure as people look at the scores and they see 42-14, even if you thought that the Rockets could win this one, I don't know if we would have expected 42-14 at the end of the night. Now still some work to do. McComb missing some personnel. They need a tight end. They get one in, 14 on the play clock. They will run this to the left side. Nothing doing for Braxton Oldhauser as the Rockets pumped up as the clock hits a minute left. Yeah, they've done a really, really good job utilizing their hands and shedding blocks and just meeting the football. And again, when you could put McComb, a team like this, in second and long and third and long, you got to feel good about yourself, and, and that's what they've done all night long. Second and eight. Go under center. Wittenmeyer, the quarterback, hands this off to the left side, and again, the Rockets in the backfield to bring him down. There's Miller. Now a personal foul against the Rockets. They got a little carried away there. Brock Stahl with a little extra after the whistle. That one's not going to make Coach Hershey happy. No, certainly not. That's not going to take anything away from the victory. But, again, you've got to make sure you keep your composure. Penalty against the Rockets. So that's 15 yards the other way. 17 on the clock. Ball up to the 47-yard line. I'm sure Coach Hershey's going to address that if he hasn't already done so. This time up the middle, Althauser picks up a couple. Clock down to 10. Coach Algy says that's it. 42-14, McComb falls to Pandora at home. A big victory for the Rockets to move to three and two. Two and zero oh in the BVC. McComb falls to four and one. One and one in the Blanchard Valley Conference partner. My goodness, almost a perfect game from the Rockets tonight. Well, and again, accolades, the guys that 
up front to do the dirty work. You gotta give props tonight to Pandora Gilboa. And the, the, the guys on the offensive side of the ball on the line, as well as the defensive line. It was a game in the trenches tonight, and the visitors come in here and dominated the play on both sides of the ball in the trenches and put McComb again in the, those long situations and McComb fell behind. They, they're bread and butter, they're running game. And when you fall behind and you, you allow the quarterback to throw for a career high in yards and touchdowns, you know, you've got to change your game plan and McComb adjusted at halftime, but kudos to Pandora Gilboa. They punched that touchdown in with about what, in a three minute drive after getting hit in the mouth and they returned to punch and then they went for the knockout and they delivered the knockout tonight. And they're, you know, that's an excited bunch of kids. McComb's gonna bounce back, computer points, 16 spots. They're gonna be there in the run, long run. Coach Algie's gonna clean some things up, prepare for next week and for the remaining part of this schedule. The only problem is they're a game back now for a conference championship. When we talk about how great this offensive line played and allowing Pandora Gilboa to get the job done in the air, on the ground. They moved the ball so well tonight, ultimately winning this game. And you've got to give credit to Corey Girton, who just had a fantastic game through the air, completing passes. And after that pick, especially to start the game. He lose his composure, did he? He kept his composure and and said, you know what, let's just stay with what we're doing here. And by golly, he did. And then also, let me let me add to this here. You're talking about his ability to throw the football. How about the running backs and the jobs they did getting those big chunks of yards, making it easier for him also? Ben Burkholder with 90 yards rushing, 82, 88 of those came in the second half, Andrew Miller finishes with 77 yards <laughs> rushing. That's not too bad. What, 170 between the two? Corey Girton, 12 of 15, 235 yards, four touchdowns. Carson Meyer, five catches, 90 yards. Aiden Morris, three catches, 82 yards. Ben Stahl with two catches, 48 yards. And my goodness, what a game for the Rockets. They leave with a 42-14 victory. Want to thank our sponsors one more time. Web Insurance, our scoreboard sponsor, and our instant replay sponsored tonight by Sprunger Insurance. Well, and thank you to the fine folks in Macomb for hosting us tonight, you know, here in the press box, and then the gentleman over here that was kind enough to get us the stats both at halftime and here at the end of the game. You know, they didn't have to do that, and we're, we greatly appreciate that, and we try to add to the broadcast and those things right there help tremendously. Absolutely, want to thank everyone back at the station for their hard work. Want to thank the girls on the camera tonight. And as always, want to thank you, the viewer, for tuning in to High School Football on WOSN. For Darren Gilbert, I've been Evan Skilleter signing off. Have a great night and God bless.